Hello, buddy. Welcome back to the second to last episode of SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. Weird to say that, but it, it's true. Um, in the last episode, we did the entirety of the Flying Dutchman's graveyard, and now we're going to do SpongeBob's Dream. One of the weirdest transitions to a level, possibly. With sleep oh, comes God. dreams. What mischief can be found in this subaquatic somnambulant realm? Dream bubbles. I'm surrounded by dream bubbles. I wonder what that means. Gary, what are you doing here? Ow. Oh, so I'm dreaming. Well, then first thing I'm going to do is dream myself up a mustache. Thanks, Gary. It does make me look more rugged, doesn't it? Mow? More tasks? Well, I could use more golden spatulas, but where should I start? Ow! Ow! You mean each dream bubble has a golden spatula in it? Mow! I'm ready! Mow! Yes, Gary, I'll be careful. Well, SpongeBob's Dream, the most bizarre level in that. Oh, there's one up there too. Most bizarre level in Battle for Bikini Bottom. Am I? Okay, there we go. I thought I wasn't gonna make that. Uh, Wait, why? What? Oh, my controller was moving forward without me even hard touching the joystick. Kind of not a missed opportunity because I can see why they didn't want to do that. But I was kind of hoping Sand or not Sandy, Gary talks because in the episode. Of the dream levels and SpongeBob, he he talked. But you know, that is not a big. Con that's not like one of those major things must haves, I guess, for this because it's just like a. It'll be like, oh, that's cool, but it's like, yeah, you don't really need that. It was like that. That was that episode's like funny, haha. -ha. I'm surprised I did not. What the? I wasn't paying attention. Okay, I wish there was a checkpoint up here, but there isn't. What? Is it gonna... Okay. I can already see the clams. What the fuck? Well, I never had this happen to me before. Why is there a cross up there? Why is that there? I don't remember seeing that. What if I don't touch the beach ball? Maybe that was my problem be like, be to begin with. I was just touching it. Yes! First spatula! <laughs> Woo! I think 75 is actually the number you need to defeat Plankton. Like, to get to the chum bucket. We have 70 socks. Wow, 75 and 75. That's kind of funny. The, it, each t that means seven spatulas for Patrick because, like, you know, socks. Hey, at least that one was a thousand. So we can enter Scribber's Dream. You can see there's another paywall there to enter Mr. Krabs' dream. What's enter? <laughs> I'm actually kind of nervous. I'm going to be poor at the end of this. Because almost everything has a paywall. <laughs> Sandy's dream. Everyone's favorite zone. It's because it's all sliding. And unlike Kelp Vine, it's just sliding. There's no level. Wow. Your dream is massive. Everything in Texas is big. Even and you're just the right person to reach the spatula on top of that golden acorn. My dream, my rules. I'll get that spatula fat Texas jackrabbit crossing a four-lane highway. Let's go, Sandy. It's all sliding, so let's go. This like level is like a very unique level because it has a bunch of subsections in the level. 
So like this is all still SpongeBob's dream, but it's like Sandy's dreams, Squibber's dream, Mr. Krabs' dreams, and they all have like their own spatulas and socks. I think this one has two or maybe one sock. I feel like it's two though. And then there's also two spatulas in the dream. I want to say there's three spatulas though, however. I feel like my brain's telling me three, but I'm pretty sure there's only two. Another paywall. Oh, I don't have enough. We'll come back to it later. Wait, no, wait, hold on. Well, I have to go up to it Hello, first. Hello, Plankton. That's what I need, a creature with a backbone. I don't have enough. Hopefully that me acknowledging it when I teleport here, it will just take me to there. I can't believe I'm poor. I love how at the very, I think in the first episode, I just said, you don't, you won't have a struggle as long as you collect every shiny object on your way. Looks to me now, how I'm just, I don't have anything. Perfect. I wish you could just not. I wish those don't have to explode to get their coins from them. Suck. Oh, yeah. Let me, let me remind you there's only 80, 80 socks in this. I said it tw uh Never mind. But, so that means we just need like four more left, and we're done with all the so sock collecting. Which is pretty kind of cool to think about. Keep in mind, I also have to pay Mr. Krabs to get, like, the other chunk of, uh, gold spatulas of, like, seven, I think. I I'm no, you need eight spatulas for Mr. Krabs, and each one goes up in, like, 5,000, and it keeps adding. So it'll be, like, 3,000, or 3,000, and then 3,000, and 500, and then 4,000, and 4,000, and 500, and it always boosts stuff. And then near the end, it just boosts up, like, multiple. It'll be, like, 5,000. 5,000. Oh, 8,000. Hey, I have enough to do that level now. If I could stop just flat falling off the slide. Which is very anticlimactic. It's not really that far down of a drop. I just just get off it and I just like, let me just jump. Okay, there we go. This is really... I like this slide level. Too bad that... There's no variety in the music. It's just the same slide music. Which I don't mind. It's pretty good music, but... I don't know. This is like this. This is basically Sandy's Dream. That's the music for Sandy's Dream. It's just the slide of the theme. Oh, thank God. See, if now if Kelpvine had Sandy as the playable character, this would be easy for me. But Kelpvine sucked, and it was Patrick. So Patrick wasn't going to do much. He was just as weak as Spongebob. Not unless I was a speedrunner and I'd know all the Spongebob techniques, the cruise boost and stuff. Then I don't think that would have been a problem. Did I just, like, landed on him? I think I did. There we go! Also, run on. Oh, thank God. Can you teleport me there, or is it just going to put me in the same place in Sandy's dream? The f fuck? I guess I have to go back there legitly. I guess it didn't count as a silver spatula. Like, oh, it's like you didn't get this one. It just didn't count at all. Here we are. Oh my god, 400. Challenges in their own dreams. Squirrels? We're tough like that. Oh, you'll need to be real tough to make this series wings. I could do it in my sleep. Well, in my sleep. As I said, in my sleep. 
Well, there's a golden spatula out there for you if you make it far enough. I'll do it so fast, it'll make head spin faster than a horny toad on a merry-go-round. Weird that this is a kid's game and they say the word horny, but I don't know, that's just my opinion. Can I ever just dream normal dreams of world dominating? There we go. I have 400 shiny objects. That is the saddest... I... God damn it, I'm poor now. There's literally nothing I could do. I just hope I don't have to... Well, I mean, I have to pay that one paywall after to get to Patrick's and Mr. Krabs' dreams. So I have to at least get 2,000 before then. This is why I might said there might be a stop. The fuck did I rope then? What did I rope? I roped something. What? What happened? That scared the hell out of me. Why did that hurt me? I was in the air. Doesn't matter. We got all of them. Spatula. Spatula. 70 spatulas. And now... Patrick sock. Well, I suppose it'll make Patrick happy. Wait, what is that gonna teleport me? Is that gonna teleport me in front of SpongeBob's house? It did. Only like four spatulas left though. Kind of impressive. There's one for every dream. We only have three dreams left, so there's just one random spatula. And it's here, of course. Perfect. I don't have enough, sorry. Hopefully I get enough in Scribber's Dream, but Scribber's Dream doesn't have a lot of money, it's just platforming. For heaven sake, boy, cover your ears. Mr. Krabs, what are you doing with Squidward's Dream? Hard time, boy, or else it feels like it. Yeah. Do you think you can make it across this sheet of music to the golden spatula on Squidward's big goose? Don't worry, Mr. Krabs. I'll end this challenge on a high note. Ugh. Good luck, boy. When you get there, try to wait. I'm running out of aspirin. Nah. Alright, this is just all platforming. And there's also a sock here, too, I think. I don't know where the... I know where the sock is, but I think you... When you do it, you have to backtrack because it drops you all the way down. What? <laughs> Okay, I guess that's my fault. At least there's a checkpoint at every, like, thing like that. I love this area because it just shows all the, like, scribbled pictures that he actually has in the house in that one frame of the actual episode. I don't know, this is a clever... Almost just jumped off, then I realized this was moving. Is it weird that some people think that doing this is cheating? Like, uh, I think what it's called in the community is like spin stalling, where you jump and then you spin because it slows you down and you can still move. Not perfectly, of course. Is it weird that some people think that's like not like a function in the game? That's like a exploit. I think that's really stupid because like, I don't know, I don't, uh, I mean, a good example is when you play Mario Galaxy, do you not use the spin, the, the swing the remote to, like, save yourself in midair? No, I mean, if you do that, then you can do that in this game, too. It's like this basic same function. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna make that. Plus, it just saves you in situations. I don't see why that's a bad thing. No! I didn't spin stall me there. I just fell through, straight through the music note. But, you know, alright. I'll, I'll cut that out. Also, you saw the sock. 
And obviously, when you get the sock, you fall back down here. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna cut. Got the sock. One more sock left. There we go. And now, like, I guess you could say it's a bad habit, because you can... I did see someone beat this without even spin-stalling to prove a point. Or something. I don't know what the point was, though. But basically, they beat this entire area without having to spin stall like I'm doing. Fuck! I didn't make that. I feel like that was my fault, though, because it was moving back and forth. But, like, I guess it's because, like, I guess it could show that I'm stuck at the game because I'm using the spin stall just to make it. But that, okay, I don't want to... It's like jumping at the last second. I get, I get it. This is, like, the last level, and it's supposed to be hard. But, God damn it. It's not that hard anyways. And plus we just made it too. So yeah, we're done with Scribber's Dream now. Oh man, I was hoping that actually made me like... I don't know man, but I was hoping for a thousand there. Wait, 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 wait. Damn it! Good job! Now let's hoist anchor and get out of here. I need money. <laughs> okay, let's go hit this cross here. Damn it, I didn't oh, I did make enough! But now I have 23! <laughs> Keep in mind, I have to pay Mr. Krabs, like, extraordinarily a lot of money. I don't think I used the word right, nor did I even realize what word I was using, because I somewhat lost what I was saying halfway through that. And we need one more thousand to get to this area. <laughs> Let's go do Mr. Krabs' dream! Whitworth, this is amazing. Amazingly awful, you mean. Mr. Krabs is dreaming of the Krusty Krab. What a surprise. It escaped work anywhere. Whoa! Lunch rush! I'd better grab my hat and... Forget the hat! Get that spatula and get us out of here! It's like a shiny golden toothpick that holds together the bun of... We don't have time for this! Basically, this is just like defeat the enemies. Bo I want to say boss rush, but more chill because it's not bosses. Example, defeat an enemy, boom. And that du du duplicator tron there will always spawn the same enemy. So yes, there's since there's three, there's only going to be three, these three enemies. Can you fuck off? What the fuck off? Oh my, everyone's teaming up against me. Again! Again! I what? Is this far away? Like, I don't mind moving. I've been wanting to kill that guy. What the f- Why? Stop spotting it on me! At least I- Well, I guess I get money for defeating them. God, I wish these guys died when he hit them as well. But no, they only died by Bubble Bowl. At least he gives out a lot of money. So I might actually get a thousand. If you know I don't die from these guys. Oh, I hate it when it does that. And there's like no underwear because they wants it to be difficult. This thing is open. Technically, you can cheese it when you're up here and just destroy them all, but... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, don't die. Don't die on me yet. This also is free. And each one has a hoeing area.
Yes. Yes. The sock is right there too. The last sock. Oh, no! I got stuck underneath the one of the buns. Yay! I was gonna say, did I break it or something? Like, what if it wanted me to defeat? We got the last sock. Oh yeah, baby. Now we can trade all of those in for uh, Patrick, and also. Luckily enough, we got enough money, too. Good thing that this was a like an enemy rush. 80 spatulas! We're like 20 more away from beating the game. You don't even need 80. It's like the last clam I think you have to pay for in this. I don't care. Just get me to the end. Enter Patrick's dream. Patrick, you have a golden spatula. Give it here. Not so fast, SpongeBob. You'll have to pass my test before you get this golden spatula. Very well, sir. Challenge accepted. Very well. Your challenge is to find the golden spatula! You're holding it. You did it! Now here is your reward. The best to dream by far. <laughs> I challenge you to... Patrick, I... Yes? I already solved the challenge. You did? Then here's your reward. You already gave it to me. I did? Then I challenge you to... Ah, uh, Patrick, I've got to go. Gary uh, needs another bath. I love this dream because let's just run to the abyss of darkness. On my, the recorder, you could see like maybe pixels of the floor. On the actual TV, you don't see anything. It's a never ending loop. It never ends. Kind of cool. I don't know. I mean, it's pretty probably simple in the coding, but that was really it's kind of terrifying. Patrick's dream is an endless abyss. And we got everything. And I literally mean everything. Holy hell, this is weird. I expect us to get this far. We basically got I mean, let me just look. Like, look at that. I hail some of them are just not spinning like good. Like this and that. But like... We just got ch the chum bucket, which is like the last boss fight. Patrick's all the socks, which we can't get. And of course, Mr. Krabs, which I'm going to have to find a way to get m all the money. I'll do that in the next episode. I'll just show me ha with all the money, all right? But yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!